The Edmonton Wildcats are 1-1 one one to start the season, a year full of high expectations for third-year head coach Darcy Park and his now solid core of veteran players. We're coming back with a great group. We probably have about 43 uh, third, fourth, and fifth-year guys, which is uh, it's, it's great for us, you know. Third year as head coach and, and with the staff together, that's kind of what our goal was, was to build up and, and have the uh, players in that, in that last part of eligibility. Uh, we brought in some great young kids to compete. Yeah, exactly. Five and three last year was a lot better than what we had our, my first year. And now that uh, we, you know, bounced over that 500 mark, now we need to uh, come in the season and, like Coach Park said, win your home games and then uh, win a few on the road and you got a home playoff game and that's what we want. Offensively, the Cats have an unlikely duo of receivers who are their go-to options. Yeah, it's funny. You know, we have uh, Brad Cortell, who's your 6'4", prototypical, uh, you know, Canadian slot back. And then you got Ryan Smith, who's small, shifty, and tenacious. It's nice to have a big guy that you can throw to because I mean, when I'm when I'm not open, he's always going to be open because you know he's six foot five or whatever the hell he is. So um, you know he's got he's got the size, and I like you know my speed is what I like to use. And uh, so we got two attack coming from each side. It's a nice weapon. Ryan is a guy who you know exactly how he's feeling when he's on the field. He's tenacious. You know he's a little bit of our uh, emotional leader. Uh, when he gets mad and he gets angry, he knows it. You know his biggest thing is just trying to keep that in check and making sure that you know he's being positive and, and, and doing whatever the little things to be successful. Then there's the big second year target, Cortell. A big target and physical. Uh, does a great job on special teams uh, and uh, you know does it was one of those players who just does everything really well. What's it like here in this league to try and work your way in as, as a big target? Um, you know what it's it works to your advantage if you know how to use your size and as long as you can get your body between you and the DB makes it a lot easier for the quarterback, makes it a lot easier for yourself. Um, and so I try to use it to my advantage as much as I can. Is there any nickname for you two, the, the tall and short, anything um, like that? We call Brad, we call him Papa Cortel because he looks like he's 45 <laughs> years old, but that's about it. The Wildcats have a bye this weekend and will be back on the field Sunday, September 8th at 1 p.m. looking for revenge against the Huskies after losing a tight one against them in week one. Jordan Greenlee, Go Edmonton. Three, two, one, Cats! Three, two, one, Cats!